Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase video. We have a real treat for you today, this Brazen Claws Space Marine Primaris Army in their really cool quartered scheme. Now if you're new to the Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome. Siege Studios is a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service uh, with 28 members of staff who all paint from our bronze, introductory, above tabletop minimum standard all the way up to platinum, which is our competition entry quality. If you are interested in a quote for a small character, uh, some projects or an army match like this then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote click on the link next to that and it will take you directly to the siege studios website and our contact form once you're there complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop down options from those available for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is shown on there fire that off to us to get the process started and we'll come back to you with a quote we're back in a second to have this awesome army in more detail see you guys back in a sec Hey guys, so first up, let's have a look at the characters from this Brazen Claw army. Really, really cool selection of character models from the force. We are seven in total to have a look at. So we've got the various captains, the ancient, uh, Prophet Creed, Chaplin, uh, and also we have two lieutenants, as I mentioned. Really, really cool selection of models. Uh, so let's dive in, have a look. We'll have a look at the captain first of all. Again, a really, really lovely, lovely model uh, to lead this Brazen Claws force. You've got this lovely red and white kind of crystalline power weapon as well that's been done. There's a various ones of those through the force. Uh, so that's just uh, hit the captain. Again, loads and loads of little details like the screens and everything fully painted and picked out. All the text on the purity seals there, as you can see, done in a stellar, stellar fashion. We have this lovely cape as well that's got subtle undertones in the darker areas uh, with brighter sort of a transition on the high crests as well, which is really cool. Good example here of the quartered kind of brazen claw red and of a blue scheme as well. Plus also we have custom brazen claw transfers on this whole entire project, as you can see, and you'll see that on all the shoulder pads across the force as well. So next up, let's have a look at the Chaplin from the Force. A really, really cool model. Um, lovely amount of detail on him. Obviously, all the purity seals and everything with text and all the scrolls and scripture. Oh, got lovely complimentary red gun casing on the pistols as well. And uh, moving around, you can see all the attention to detail. Texture added to the cloth work on him as well. Um, but every detail highlighted through various stages, as well as the armor done in a stellar, stellar fashion. There's one of the Brazen Claw transfers. Again, as you will see through the Force. Again, but every little detail highlighted to a super super pristine fashion and red little lenses there on the skull mask as well just to match the rest of the force as well which is really cool uh, next up let's have a look at the apothecary from the force lovely white shining gleaming pristine armor here on him and again just inspecting some gnc there as you can see but all the lights lenses and dials and everything fully painted and picked out in a lovely fashion complimentary red tabard okay as well just to break up that white you've got the uh, transfer there as you will see and then moving around all the screens and dials and everything fully done in a lovely, lovely, clear fashion. So that's him. Uh, we'll look at the Ancient as well from the Force. So let's just have a look at him with Brazen Claws obviously written on the banner there and all the little text and bits of the information just on the bottom of the banner as well, which is really cool. Very stoic pose uh, here on this Ancient. Really, really cool posing from the Dark Imperium set. Subtle undertones in the deepest areas of the cloth work as well with the high points picked out that are really lovely, lovely finish. You've got this green um, that's been used on all of the sort of webbing and pouches and things like that just to complement the red. Uh, just works really lovely with the Force. I do love how Terry has used um, and integrated the, the, um, the basing into the, onto the bottoms of the feet as well on the models, just to really add narrative between the model and the basing, which is really cool. Uh, again, just with some transfers put on him as well. So that's just the Ancient. We'll then have a look at the first of the two lieutenants. Uh, again, just so you can see the skin tone and everything that's been done on him, but all the eyes, teeth and everything fully painted on him. All the purity seals with text, every little aspect of detail done to a stellar finish, all the little screens and things all painted there with point of light source and blends on them as well. Uh, so that's just the first of the uh, lieutenants. And incidentally, you'll see more bare heads in the uh, infantry section of this video. Uh, that gives you a good idea of some of the skin tones that Terry has used across this force. Uh, so that's just the first lieutenant. Uh, I'm going to leave my favourite lieutenant till last and probably bring the Gravis Captain forward first just so you can see him. Again, really good example of that crystalline kind of blade, red to white transition that's been done on there all by, with a brush as well, which is really lovely. Uh, again, this Gravis Captain, one of the models that comes in the Dark Imperium set, but really, really nicely painted here with all the edging done very sharply. Uh, great attention to detail on that quarter scheme, especially on this bulky Gravis armour uh, as well as you can see. Lovely cape on him as well. Really super, super clean finish on these models. Uh, so 
that's just the uh, Gravis Captain. And finally, my favourite model from Dark Imperium and also probably uh, one of my favourite poses I've seen as of yet is this awesome Lieutenant that came in Dark Imperium. Again, super, super. It sums up Imperium to me just how defiant he looks. Uh, but you can see the purity seals there with all the text and everything added to them as well. Uh, every edge all done in a super sharp fashion. You've got the lovely green gem there on the pommel of the sword. Again, that crystalline kind of blade that's been blended by the brush from red to white, which is lovely. Uh, so that's him. Uh, you've got the green lenses that you'll see on all of the force, other than a few select choice models like the Chaplin um, and other areas. But uh, really, really cool uh, sort of green lenses used on the force just to complement that red as well. And again, all the quartered scheme done on the armor, all with a brush as well. So that's just lovely. So there's the Lieutenant. Uh, and the last model from this character section, guys. Do hope you like them. Up next, we have all the infantry to come. So stick around there coming up shortly and uh, after that we have all the heavy hitters and the big boys in the force so we're back in a second to have a look at the infantry see you guys shortly so next up on this Brazen Claws force, we've got all the infantry. Uh, really, really cool scheme, much like you saw the characters in that quarters fashion. All the infantry are individually quarters as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, so let's have a look at the selection of infantry we've got. We've got three Inceptors, three Aggressors, 15 Reavers, 10 Hellblasters, and 10 Intercessors. Uh, so a lovely selection from the new Primaris range. Uh, we'll start at the front and work our way back. So we'll start with the Reavers and just get these to focus so you guys can have a look at them. Really, really cool models, as you can see, uh, in that lovely quartered scheme in the red and blue. Custom brazen claw transfers on all of these as well, as you'll see through the force. Uh, but again, all the edging done in a lovely, super sharp fashion through various stages as well. Metalworks obviously got a lovely sheen on it and also got uh, scratches and things that are done to that as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, again, all the individual little rib bits of armour all picked out, all the gun casings, absolutely all the grenades, pouches, uh, holders and everything are all done as well. Uh, again, I do love the fact that the basic material is also added to the feet just to add that narrative and add, can sort of combine the model to the base as well, which is really lovely. Pull forward another one of the Reavers is probably just the Sergeant here. You can see all the eyes and everything all fully picked out on these as well. Multiple highlighted on the skin tones and all those areas as well. Uh, again, all the text on the purity seals, all the relevant transfers for the type of models that they are as well. Again, all those scratches and chips there on those knives. Lovely, lovely, super clean finish on these as well. So that's just a couple of the Reavers. We'll pull forward a few more just so you can have a look at them. These ones have got the grav packs on them as well, just so you can see. All those lenses on the helmets will pick down that complimentary green just to really make the energy sort of glow kind of look on the helmets as well. Again, you've got that lovely quartered and half scheme on here as well, which is really, really lovely. So that's just another Reaver there. Uh, pull forward one of the one other ones. I think this is a Sergeant, but he's got a bolter with a front grip, which I really do love. Uh, it's got a sort of wooden sort of stock on it, which is quite cool. Uh, all the little screens and all the dials and everything all sort of picked out and painted as well in a lovely fashion. Uh, so that's just one other of the Reavers. Uh, and then we will have a look at some of the aggressors. I think the uh, big boys of the force. So let's just have a look at an aggressor. Again, really, really cool models, uh, just sort of stoically bounding forward here. You can see those custom brazen claw transfers that have been added onto this commission. Uh, again, all the relevant transfers applied, all the edging done, they're really, really clean, super, super sharp finish as well, which is lovely. So that's just one of the aggressors. Put him back. Let's have a look at another one, just so you can have a look at the consistency from model to model through the unit. Again, same here, lovely attention to detail and all the little details, uh, the quiller, all that little rope, all the little bits and bobs hanging from his waist as well, all done. Again, purple sort of power cables there on the back on the guns as well, which is really nice. So that's just another one of the aggressors. Uh, next up, let's have a look at some of the Hell Blasters and just pull these forward just so you can have a look at them. Again, really, really cool, um, cool sort of models as well. Massive, massive plasma weapons. I've got a very, very bright green glow on these guns as well. Almost looks on camera as if it is actually glowing, but that's uh, how it's been painted to really give it a super, super luminous glow on the gun. Uh, really, really cool. And obviously the lenses on him as well were picked out and painted throughout the force in that complementary green. You've got the brazen claw transfer as well there, as you can see, all the edges done and all the relevant transfers added to the models as well. Uh, so that's just another one of the uh, Hell Blasters from the force. Uh, we'll now have a look at the sergeant from the unit because I do really, really like him. Just getting that to focus for you guys. Again, you can see all the edging done in a lovely fashion, that quartered scheme there on him. Two energy weapons or two plasma weapons here glowing with that bright green glow, as you can see. Uh, really does it like it's boom beaming 
aiming with light as well, which is lovely. Uh, so that's just the sergeant. Uh, looks like he's about to shoot someone that's sort of chasing him down and he's about to pull up his big uh, plasma weapon and use that afterwards as well. Uh, another one there, just so you can see him. Again, that lovely, lovely, super bright green glow on the plasma as well, which is really, really cool. So that's just another one of the Hell Blasters. Uh, won't pull forward the ones in the back. Uh, and then we'll have a look at some of the intercessors, uh, just the standard infantry from the force. Uh, now, all of them do have bare heads, and Terry's done a stellar job in picking out all the little details on these, face, teeth, eyes, and everything all done. Again, a really, really cool selection of colours used. Just the strap matching, obviously, the belts and things and ammo pouches and stuff across the force, which is really, really cool. All the text written on the uh, on the sort of banners and scrolls of the models as well. Uh, again, you've got the helmet there. that's obviously got the half scheme as well, which is really, really lovely. Uh, so that's just one of the sergeants from the small five-man intercessor units. We'll pull forward a couple of the shooting ones just so you can see these. Uh, again, they've all got bare heads with all the eyes and everything all fully picked out and painted on these. Just get that to focus for you guys so you can see at all the skin tones. Various skin tones across the force just to really sort of make them break that up across the uh, the different sort of uh, marines in the army but again every little detail and everything fully painted on these in a lovely super clean fashion so that's just one of the incessors uh, and then we'll pull forward and let's have a look uh, one more it's two of the sergeant from the other unit just so you can see him as well which is a really really cool model just getting that to focus for you guys as well uh, he's got some scars on his face there you can see the eyes and everything fully painted every little detail done to a lovely super clean finish for our client on this brazen claw project uh, so that's just uh, that's just one of the uh, the intercessor sergeants from the rear unit and then what we'll pull forward and have a look at will be the inceptors which are the flying sort of jump infantry pull forward some of these I'll just get us to focus for you guys so you can have a look uh, there we go. Uh, again, just get that to sharpen a little bit. There we go. So you can see all the edging and everything fully done on him. Massive bulky armor, huge jump pack here with some sort of grav sort of uh, tassel things on it. Uh, you got the brazen claw transfers applied, all the little lights and everything done on the armor. As you can see across the force, a lovely, super clean finish. Again, use of the purple on the um, on the cables just to complement that red and uh, every little detail fully painted. And I do love the glowing green lenses on these helmets on all of them. I think they're really, really cool and it does lend itself quite nicely to the scheme. So that's just one of the inceptors. Let's pull forward another one so you can have a look at him. Uh, just getting that to focus for you guys as well. Again, really, really lovely, consistent finish across model to model throughout the unit. All the script done there on the purity seal, as you can see. Every extra little detail fully painted and highlighted to a stellar fashion. Uh, so that's just uh, another one of the Inceptors for you guys to check out. Uh, up next, we're going to have a look at all the heavier units, a couple of tanks and also a lovely Dreadnought with a really super bright glowing plasma weapon. That is coming up next. Stick around. I'll see you guys back in a second. So finally, let's have a look at the four heavy hitters from the force. And there are a great selection of models here. Uh, Predator Annihilator, Redemptor Dreadnought, Whirlwind, and also a new Primaris Repulsor. Great selection of vehicles from both the original Space Marine range and also the Primaris range as well. So where do we start? Let's go with the Dreadnought because it is one of my favorite models from the new Primaris range. Uh, really, really cool uh, stoic Dreadnought here. You can see that lovely plasma glow on that uh, plasma weapon there. And it really, really does look like it's glowing. Terry's a stellar job of making that glow look very realistic on the model as well. Again, it also looks like it's beaming with light, which is really, really cool. Um, every little detail fully painted. You can see all the lenses and absolutely everything all done on the missile launchers, on the on the sort of sarcophagus and everywhere. Uh, really super sharp highlighting on all the armor panels as well as we move around. Uh, very, very clean, pristine finish. You can see that brazen claw transfer also on the uh, dreadnought there as well. Mechanic kind of symbol all painted as well, uh, but every half and quartered scheme is really, you know, involves a lot of attention to detail to make sure it does look correct on models, and especially when placing it on larger models like tanks and redemptors and dreadnoughts and things like that. So he's done a stellar job of adding all those bits on there, but really, really cool attention to detail. The gold work looks incredible with some lovely highlighting done on it as well, and all the metal work in a lovely sort of clean metal look kind of finish, but with, uh, with various stages of highlighting as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, but again, just to see that lovely plasma go on this plasma weapon here, you can see, just see how that sort of moves in the light but really really beaming with energy as you can see so that's just the dreadnought um, next up let's have a look at the good old predator annihilator one of my favorite uh, original marine tanks uh, lots and lots of firepower here this one's obviously called talon as well which is really really cool uh, again just so you can see from the top down you can see that quartered scheme also on the top of the tank which is lovely uh, you've got obviously the las cannons with the lenses and everything painted and the lights on the tank all done as well 
Moving around, obviously, you've got that lovely, super, super clean, pristine finish on this tank as well. Uh, and the Tech Marine Gunner as well, as you can see there, done in a lovely fashion on him as well. In his traditional red, not quartered, but still has the brazen claw pad there, as you can see. Uh, so that's just him. Uh, and then let's have a look at the Whirlwind. So this is a really, really cool tank. Not really seen very much in armies, but also does have a lot of firepower, which is quite lovely. Uh, Aquilo as well, named on this tank. You've got all the lenses done there, as you can see. You've got the brazen claw transfers that have been added to it as well but every edge painted in a stellar fashion super sharp highlighting done on the models uh, lovely set of white sort of missiles picked out there just to add the attention to detail on those let's get those to focus so you can see them and uh, again all the little lenses around the cupola all done as well um, and also on the aquila all the gold work highlighted for various stages as well which is really really lovely so that's just uh, that's just the whirlwind and then last but by no means least let's have a look at the repulsor and the new tank from one of the new tanks for say from the uh, from the Space Marine range, but really, really cool uh, with all the extra little details on it. As you can see, every little lens and light all picked out uh, in that lovely fashion. The brazen claw transfer is added to it as well. You've got the lenses here all picked out and uh, with point of light source and multiple blends throughout as well, which is really cool. That's on all the ones around the hull, on the turret, uh, around the cupola as well. Um, and also you've got the, uh, the tech marine or pilot as well, or tank commander here in his distinct red again. Um, then obviously with the brazen claw pad on his shoulder and all these eyes and teeth and everything fully picked out on him as well. Uh, so that's the repulsor. Really, really cool bit of kit. Um, do massively, massively like this tank. Again, you've got every little detail fully painted, all the metal work and everything. And that's all the heavy hitters and big units from the army, guys. Uh, stick around. We're back in a second to see the force in all its quartered glory once again. Um, and if you are interested in commission, you can find out how to take that out with us, for it, whether it be for a character, small force or big army like this. See you guys back in a second. So thanks for checking the video out guys. I do hope that you've liked all the models and units from this awesome Brazen Claws Force, which we've had the pleasure of completing for our client. I know that Terry had a thoroughly enjoyable time working on it. Uh, and we are all very sad to see it go to its client as much as I'm sure our client is very excited to receive it. Um, if you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege for a character, small force or an army much like this, all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it will take you directly to the Siege Studios website and our contact form whereby you can select the relevant drop down options on that contact form that match your requirements and for your project and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format uh, and put that in there. Once that's been sent off to us, we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. Also in the description of the video, you can find all links to our social media, so Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Go give us a like and follow respectively on those because we put loads of content out and images of work in progress, completed projects, courses, competitions, the lot. So make sure you go give us a follow and like on those. And finally, while you're here on YouTube, do us a huge favour. Firstly, give the video a thumbs up for this awesome, awesome Brazen Claws army. And in the comments, let us know what your favourite non-first founding Space Marine chapter is. We'd love to know. Drop some comments below. And thank you ever so much for watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.